In this video, we are going to get the banners. So, first of all, let's replace the DIA variable with inside. Okay, so first we go to find, find in replace all. We get find replace in buffer DIA. Select it to selection, edit, find and replace in buffer. I will uh, replace, find in current buffer, copy it, DIA, and replace it with inside. Okay. So, everything is working fine. We have replaced it. Okay, to ensure no errors uh, in API. We have replaced it because we need to ensure that no errors uh, later on on the website, uh, on the uh, API. Now, let's go up and create a new method function, sorry creating our post uh, post type function and arguments we have the argument banner equal new array new array and inside the array we are going to get the public true we need to get the label banner. We will name it as banners and the menu icon. We need to get it dash icons, dash admin, dash tools. Okay. and supports array we get the array title thumbnail and we close it okay so we are going to get the banners so register underscore post this is the, the uh, post type method get banners get the banners the argument banner okay and we will go to WordPress dash icons dash icons I like this I will copy it and copy its uh, dash icons uh, phone this is the this is the code of this so dash icons dash phones and in this array, in this uh, this uh, function, we are going to add uh, banners, okay, uh, banners option on the uh, panel, on the left panel of WordPress. So uh, we are going to save and go to our WordPress website. We go to WordPress local WordPress. local news app slash <clears throat> and you see guys here we have added the banners you see guys the we have added tags okay we have added the banners 
option on the uh, panel of our WordPress. So this, me this method is making us and allowing us to add the banners to the uh, uh, to the panel of an, uh, WordPress. Okay, so now let's remove the featured image. Okay, option. We go back here and we remove this and save. Click refresh. Maybe there is an error. Banners, the edit post, the post type. Okay, let me go back here. I will undo and remove the thumbnail from here. Okay, save, refresh, and here we go, guys. We add the post and the featured image is gone. So in this way, we are, I'm showing you how to control the WordPress fields. Okay. Now let's go to the custom field that we have uh, added before and add, let's add a new field. I have removed the featured image because I need to add a banner options in the custom fields that allow us to add more and more advanced things uh, for uh, the URL of the image, the source of the news and the description. Okay, so I have added the field label called description of type text and th the second field label is called banner image. It's a type image. And I will make it as image URL and the third field label called banner click link and post type is equal to post. I will change it to banner and click publish. In this way, we have added a banner option. Okay, so when we are going to create a banner, let's go and create a new banner. We have here the banner options, okay? So we have added a custom field for the banner options. So banner one, I will choose an image like this. Banner click link, I will, uh, when the user click it or uh, display a click link, put here your uh, links. I will make uh, www.google.com, okay? I will make another panel. Let me remove this. And let's create another banners. Okay, banner number two. So in this way, we have added the, the custom fields for our posts uh, and allowing us to make a custom uh, custom things with WordPress and uh, get the custom custom uh, details for our post. So I I recommend using like these uh, ban manners uh, manner in in way in making the WordPress uh, website because it's very good and it is uh, more uh, more complicated but it is uh, more simple in the same way because you are uh, you are making your own custom fields and you are making your own banner options or you are making your own post options so you are creating your own options this is the idea guys so in this way we have created uh, we have created uh, a discre a banner options for our use and later on we also will create uh, the uh, custom options in the same way for using the custom fields for till now we have create and get the banners so uh, we will write the api and get these banners uh, next uh, videos thank you guys i hope you subscribe to our youtube channel and rate us five stars on your demo